<laughs> ready to be given all the nightmares. As you may have noticed, we're slow. I think I'm slowly adopting a little bit of that style. Next thing you know, there's going to be a big like CRT border around me. And I'll be in like really grainy, bad color. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I've always thought of my brain as a slightly staticky TV that keeps flipping channels randomly. With a bunch of cursed uh, dead air at the end. Where you can learn a whole bunch of secrets. So maybe we'll just lean into that for a little bit. Alright, well this is very pleasant music, but... I think it's time for some very unpleasant endings. So... Welcome back to Control, everybody. Uh, yesterday, we finally came across a whole bunch of answers. Namely that Jesse Faden and her brother Dylan have been monitored by the Control Bureau, the Federal Bureau of Control, for potential prime candidate status, a.k.a. Uh, head honcho, big chief in charge, uh, due to an incident in our hometown. An incident that they tried to, they had to ship the entirety of our town's dump site to New York and set up a complete distinct facility for it. And what they discovered inside that facility has driven Dr. Darling to the point of uh, concern. And he's locked himself away in dimensional research, which I can't get to. Unless I go have a chat with Artie the janitor, and he's disappeared, although I'm convinced he's nothing more than a figment of my imagination anyway. There's just generally a lot going on right now. So I think it's time we figure out what that is. Furnace complaint. Why are we allowed to burn outdated paperwork? Sorry, why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? It seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating? And who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit, but I never see anyone tending to it, and the noise it makes is a little bit... I don't know... off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. Someone else was talking about the furnace uh, speaking to them. Is Artie the furnace? Like I'm still, I'm convinced he's a he's a manifestation of the oldest house. So yep, there's that. Ow! 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 Straight into the suiting, but we figured out. Ow, wow, okay, good start. Um, finally figured out that shortcut loop that links us all the way around. Yeah, Artie's gone on holiday somewhere. He's just up and left us. Okay. Try that again. This time I'm going to use my brain. I'll get rid of these horrible plant monsters first of all. Whoa, hey! There's a lot of mold people up here. I cleaned this out not a few not a few hours ago. How did you you know what? I don't need to be here. I don't need this kind of negativity in my life. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm moving on. Oh, hello. Okay, we're going through the motel. Hey, Artie, are you staying here in the motel? For your holiday? Are you in the janitor's office? You are. Are you the caretaker of reality? All the posters are gone, or quite a few of the posters are gone here. Oh, they've all been switched to Finland travel posters, not uh, not American ones anymore, not huge number of American ones. Okay. That goddamn clog. I can't use my weapon in here. Change all of the change all the radios to like the the, the Finnish weather service. Like, is this the shipping channel? Well, I don't know if this is this place. Sounds like we've managed everything. Back in door one. Oh, that, f that helped flush the clog. Ugh. Hey Artie, how are you? How are you doing in here, buddy? As soon as the texture loads in, we might be able to see where this is taking us. Any second now. No, there we go, I was going to say. I know where this is. This is going to take us to the quarry in that cut off area that I couldn't get into. clicks that time. But yeah, here we are. And it's not a regular control point like I thought. It's made of mops and old wash buckets and bottles of bleach. What is going on? <laughs> Albany Summary. A response team was dispatched by possible AWE in progress at Blank Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding regarding noise complaints coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Blank Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be the evidence of a werewolf due to the fact they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field Agent Blank accompanied a squad of Ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item which they successfully retrieved. Is, is Artie an AWE? Is the janitor himself? Thank you, love. Ah, that's a big coffee. Trying to get me all jittery. No. 
Dan is trying to overdose me on ca on on caffeine. is open now. Okay, so this super secure area we could never get into is Artie's holiday destination? I knew it was important. Also, that's totally like the city we need to go and check out at some point. I know there's like a fort monster around here, but can we just talk about the the secret world that I'm discovering up there? <gasps> the secret hidden door. A whole bunch of hiss down there trying to have a fight with an astral fort form and they are going to lose. Those guys can't die. <laughs> Down to restricted areas. Hell yeah. Let me do a quick, quick check for the good loot. Nothing. All right. Let's begin our slow descent, shall we? Here, I was thinking this was going to go up. I wonder what's so dangerous they have to keep it in the quarry where they mine the protection for everywhere else. This is like storing, storing something radioactive in a lead mine. I wonder if the hiss have even managed to get down here. Hey, buddy. Okay, well, the hiss can get down here. <laughs> Confirmed. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, blank along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates in accelerated physical blank from blank rendered field agent blank and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found AI-63 at the origin of the blank, attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians, and thus no reinforming of the communications department was required. Okie dokie. Whoa, okay, what is going to be in here? Obviously it couldn't just be waiting for the cable car.
Whoa. Ow. Okay, I think I may have... <laughs> I may have, uh... Captain America slammed my way into, like, an explosive barrel or something. Oops. Yeah, I am, I am infinitely curious about... One, whatever that full moon object of power is, but two, what requires such intense storage? Like, I was pretty blown away by the fact they just lifted the entirety of Ordinary's uh, garbage heap and shipped it over. Like, that was pretty intense. This is... So, again, more questions. Like, we've installed an elevator and a cable car, but... Was this... was this place already filled out? we got so many questions. And I love... Love questions. I almost... Almost prefer questions to answers. Because sometimes the answers aren't good enough for the, the amazing questions. You know what I mean? Sometimes the mysteries you make in your head are just so much more, uh, so much more fascinating. Alright. Let's reactivate this cable car and try again. Well, you can give me a hand this time, buddy. Psychic dude first, if you can. Apparently we can't, okay. Now I'm swapping explosives with the bad guys, wonderful. of their RPGs with my face. That's an unhealthy situation to be in. Pick up a nerd and throw him at a different nerd. Alright, let's grab some of his health. around here. Is that cable car going to arrive? Oh, it is here. lumps of rock. <laughs> Are they ever going to stop? Anybody else? No. Okay. Whew. Getting pretty intense there for a second. All right. <laughs> T 
Time to find out what lies beyond the veil. Complete with soothing Finnish music. Definitely gonna get attacked on this railing. Everybody enjoying the tunes? Nowhere. Unmapped area. This place does not exist. Even in the Bureau's secretists of secrets, this place does not exist. Backwards is really hard because it's the momentum is slightly physics based. Okay, everybody, welcome to Artie's holiday home. the city. Where the hell are we? There's something up ahead. Do you see it? It's the beach. Oh, the beach is like a sauna. Okay. Plastic tree supplement again. Okay. Results are incredible, but the speed of discovery that allows us. Uh, AI-14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we're discovering certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-wrestling them with exoteric texts. Okay, so the tree that would repeat words back to them is what helped them identify, like, the rituals and speaking patterns to control other items. Oh, that's a weird effect. Okay. Hey, everybody, we're going to Finland. I'd love to go to Finland. It's gold. Hey, girl. What a feeling. Holidays. There's that tree. People talking about spotting a tree and going crazy. Uh oh, I spotted a tree and went crazy. Arty? <laughs> Did you miss me? Arty, are you like. Did you have this in your. Low key. Song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a moon. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. 
What the hell? So yeah, this tree, like people were talking about being in the quarry and seeing this tree, this like, what I can only presume with the Finnish connotations and everything is uh, meant to be Yggdrasil, the world tree. But that's crazy that we're in, we're in an alternate dimension with Cthulhuan, like Lovecraftian properties to it, but inside that is very much some Norse mythology. But I suppose hell, if you if if you're in for one mythos, you might as well be in for all of them. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Oh my god, I have terrible hiccups. Excuse me. I can't. I can't see anything else here. Okay, now I'm thinking that Artie isn't necessarily a manifestation of the oldest house, but is in fact some Norse god. Some Odin character. Have I been enjoying Control so far? Very much, Bastion. It is possibly the most me game I've ever played, and I'm loving it. Give me... Extra, extra ground pound, please. Thank you. Such a good game. Alright, so now we go back to research and we're going to the Ashtray Maze. We have the cassette player that will help us pass through. I know you could only get through the Ashtray Maze if you had the Ashtray and the Eternally Smoking Cigarette. It was like the key that showed you the proper way through. Maybe Artie's cassette player works the same way, perhaps? Maybe not? I suppose we're about to find out. Probably gonna get copied right from this music. We've been speaking a lot about Alan Wake in this game. Because they're like contained universes, it, there's a lot of crossover. In fact, there's not, it's not even crossover, there are direct references to Alan Wake in this game about how that was all altered world events and, and objects of power. There were two old guys in Alan Wake who I believe were meant to be Norse gods who held a rock metal concert like they were old rockers and I'm wondering if this is one of their songs. That'll be something for me to look up in my own time but I don't know if I've made that, uh, made that connection myself or if that's actually true. It gives me the actual way through. Infinite doorways. Infinite rooms. But because I'm being given clarity. My mind is so clear. This reminds me of the bank from The Secret World. So I turned off the copyright music option. 
so hopefully that worked. Hit a guy with another guy. Here we go. <laughs> oh god, my mind it's bending. chocolate factory of confusion and headache. Unless we're here now. <laughs> Looks like the movie, you can't remember the name. It, <laughs> a little bit like uh, the end of, what, Interstellar. enters the next dimension. Give me a hand here, I could do with some friends in this maze. I still continue to be a terrible shot. Inception, yes, it's very it's very it's very mind bending, isn't it? Suddenly a lot of bad guys, the music's pounding. my life much easier. Okay, so there's that way, but like, but this is, oh, I think this is the way I came in? No, that can't be the way I came in, but it could be. Maybe this is just like a tucked away hidey hole? There's too many ways to go. I think it's this way, though. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh. Wallpaper is not good for moving fast. Is it? Is it completely screwy with the bitrate? Does it make everything look like Lego? Probably.
Oh shit, hi! <laughs> okay, I fell off, I was not paying not paying all of the attention then. Well that stopped the music, didn't it? I was too busy looking down for my uh too busy looking down for my for where my feet should go and not enough time looking at bad guys. <laughs> Is this my game of the year? I don't know. I've not finished yet. Might be. I mean, the problem is I also played, like, Red Dead Redemption this year as well. But I still haven't finished that. Oh, from the beginning? Alright. Ah, if you insist. Or oh, does it take me straight back to where I was? Oh, that's nice. It fast forwarded us a little bit. Making me do the whole lot all over again. this song much either. Like it's not entirely my cup of tea, but not bad. Shoot me with my own grenades. Okay. This time, with a little bit more care. See, I didn't see them coming out of the walls last time. No wonder they got the drop on me. Get out of this corridor real quick. That was pretty awesome.
the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound, like a needle, drilling in, cutting through the containment suit, reverberating on the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of What's at stake here? What kind of a threat we're facing? And what must be done to stop it? Okay, so there's something going on. A lot of talk so far about resonance. So what did Darling find in the slide projector? I suppose that's what we're about to find out. Dimensional research. Janitorial complaint. Anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to be here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? Artie goes where Artie goes and none of the rest of you can do anything about it. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Like all of the janitor's equipment is like wired up to stuff? Is that janitor's equipment or is it like... I mean, I guess it is. Or is it like a, oh no, it's a, the generators and like seismographs almost. Okay. Huh. Big important. Looks like the mastermind's chair. In fact, there are two of them. Sand memo. To all Dimensional Research staff, I've heard numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around Dimensional Research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of this sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavour. You'll spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. DO NOT TOUCH MY SAND! Dr. Darling. Okay, so it's a, li a literal desert? Oh my god, it might be a literal desert. Yeah, that's... That's some sand. Oh my god, it's gonna... It's just gonna get weirder, isn't it, guys? It's just gonna get stranger. Stranger things. So the slide projector research in the Hedron Resonance Lab. There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Just on the other side? 
Okay. One, one second. Boop. Okay, that's way... That's way later. Way back down later. Alright. Alright, let's... Pass through this threshold. Into a goddamn desert. Nope, not quite. Stand away from frame when- okay, so we're gonna... We're about to go full Stargate on this. I gotta check for- I gotta check for loot. Don't forget your coffee, no. How do you expect to come join me on some dimensional exploration if you don't have your, uh, if you don't have your caffeine products? Let's turn on this projector and, I don't know, prepare ourselves for some fun. Bank of busted TV screens. Alright, here we go. Hey, it's not there. The projector's not here. It moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. I mean, it clearly says do not touch or move the projector. Shutter closes all the shutters. Why am I hearing voices? Ah. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trenches, medical tests show nothing amiss. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Okay. Communication so we've caught back up. There is no right, well we've seen those five stretched out pillars in the sand. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in hey darling, what have you done with my slide projector? Oh darling. 
Guess he's up in his resonance lab. Okay, hopefully at some point that elevator starts going up and down. Hey buddy, where you at? Have you inst- oh, maybe he went to the other realm and installed his large resonator on the other side? Hedron and Hedron Research uh, Resonance are arguably the greatest assets this Bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have blanked from the majority of Bureau employees. Kept it hidden, not told anybody. This report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron containment chamber, including details of the blank being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of resonance siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. Okay. A lot of talk about siphoning stuff. It's important to remember that the previous, previous director is trapped in a power plant being used to power the entire facility. So this just seems like a bigger... more uh, more dangerous version of that um no it's not it's really nice of them to glue their passwords to the side of the monitors i'd hate to have to figure all of this out Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We 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 we've built a Was that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. Okay, now I'm even more concerned. Before I thought Polaris was just a thought entity stuck in my head. Now we're trying to rescue it from a containment facility. Now that immediately makes me very concerned. I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is... It's changing me. I've... I've seen... I've been shown so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron... Stop the spread of another. Oh, it's terrifying. It really is. It's another source of 
resonance. Trench was exposed to the southern. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron resonance amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Mm-hmm. Darling does have a pretty good bo a pretty good board for a lab monkey, doesn't he? Uh, right, so Hedron or Polaris was the was a resonance that was keeping back presumably the Hiss resonance. But they brought them both to this world where the Hiss managed to escape by getting into Director Trench's head. This is why humans shouldn't be allowed to touch things, I think. Yeah. That's the one we just watched. Yeah, humans... Humans shouldn't touch. That's bad. Slide projector tests. The slide projector only works with slide 36. Logically, this means the slide itself is part of the object of power, or a distinct altered item. But of course I had to try to make sure no other slides work. I had to. I thought maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought my parents' old slides. Birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, the first day of my high school, that sort of thing. Two boxes worth. I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all staff had left for the night. Stayed in that booth for hours, trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on. Nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on. Nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation I can see. Maybe it's the slide itself that's the object of power? Maybe the projector's just an accessory? Maybe it doesn't matter. Why did that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? Um, because we were being attacked by dung monkeys, and our dog friend had just come and rescued us. I wish the, those were statements th that I could just explain to you, but I can't. And also, remember we were talking about Bloodborne before? About how it feels like... Like, like Bloodborne was this sort of battle between two or three cosmic entities. That's what this is feeling like now. This is feeling like humans caught in the war between two super entities. This HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Jesse, do we want to? Are you do sure? Do we want to do that? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. Man, now I feel like I've hit the point where there's no player agency anymore. Like maybe I thought we were in charge, but I think maybe we're just being mind controlled by a <laughs> by a noise god. All right. Open sesame. Uh, 
Hi. I made it. Oh, what a surprise. We've infected Polaris with Hiss. We've been working for the Hiss this whole time. I don't know. Oh, please give me some answers once all this is over. God, they're like attacking it. Destroy the res the his resonances. Good. Good oh, throw, Jesse. Seem like it. Beep boop beep, get away from my brain, mum. I guess. That's a grenade. You dick. Yeah, for your punishment, go and shoot your friends. So rudely interrupted. I'm doing the good thing right now. I'm just I'm just pressing the game buttons. I mean they're still up they're still up and after, huh? levels now, gotcha. Have, let's have all of the psychic guys on my team. And everybody? Seems like everyone. Adjust the satellite.
the guys with shields first. Here, do me a favor. Keep throwing grenades at you until you fall over. Itchy nose. All right, there was a flying dude around here somewhere. Okay, I think there's just one more after this. Shit up there. All right. That worked very nicely. You're great. I love you. But, uh... We're gonna need something a bit more significant here. Where's charge? Can I get rid of this one? Can I get rid of this guy? of them whoop I don't know where I am I don't know what happened there I don't know where I went but that time I fell off the edge and died that's really confusing but okay <laughs> I will have fallen off the side whoops Ooh, there are they just they're coming there's a lot of them <laughs> I did a bit of an oopsie that's fine we know what we're doing now this time we'll go much better than expected because you're all now expecting me to fail miserably, again, and again, and again. 
we did the whole lot from the start, though. That's the question. How how generous is it going to be? Well, the door's already pulled off its hinges. We might have to do a little bit of this. Uh... I have to do a little bit of this opening gambit again, but that's not the end of the world. know where you're going on these narrow platforms when you're forced to look up like that. <laughs> Alright. Adjustez-vous s'il vous play. Protect, I gotta protect my dice mum. <laughs> sucks to be that gag. So I can get some of this health, maybe, please, and thank you. Mm -hmm. I've suddenly forgotten how to play. Things got a little extreme, and I forgot how to play video games. and stop exploding about it. Whomst? Whomst aiming at me? That guy. That guy was whomst. Last one. Maybe. <laughs> you know I keep falling down. Let's swap out. Let's swap out charge for Pierce. Quite tasty. <laughs> just be able to stand back over here and just to meet people. It's kind of very nice. Get rid of the little 
guys, first of all. rocks more rocks you want a rock we got a rock I don't know if that guy's dead or he just fell over fell over Flying dude, if you could stop making me look upwards when everything else is downwards. Nice. Who's firing these grenades at me? Woo! They're just sending a lot of friends my way, aren't they? armor quite nicely. I gotta come over here and soak up some of these health bits. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no, not again. Ooh, climbing this tower of bad guys, taking me a while. Oops, wrong button. It's fine. Third time's the charm, as everybody knows. I obviously wasn't going to do it on a second attempt. Whoever heard of that? It's either first try, third time's the charm, or six hours. <laughs> Those are the only time frames in which you can complete a challenge. <sighs> well then, you know what? I don't think Pierce is doing it. Charge was kind of helping, but I think let's let's add that damage back. Actually, no what's solid. The only weapon the only weapon we need is grip. Grip is the purest and best weapon. None others will do. Let's just ramp up the damage that it does. We'll have charge as well, because why not? Go actually equip it, or it doesn't work. But it's safe to say that 
The regular old pistol is the only one we'll ever need. It's the best. Now let's go and do this thing that we haven't attempted yet. First time, here we go. You fall down and it brings you up again. Oh, that's that's what that does. Okay. Really gotta kill that orb. Orb! Stop it! Oh Jesus. Much better if I could aim. How was that? This. Got how to play. <laughs> it happened. Oh God. Whew. I'm not saying I'm getting a bit tilted, but I definitely seem to be doing worse each round. You believe in me? I'm glad someone does. Get the fuck away. Right. Because I'm not comfortable. Killing these guys in two hits, two or three hits is very satisfying. The problem with hitting them and killing them in two hits is I've got to hit them twice, which is almost, as we know, almost impossible. chair dude First two down. It's definitely this third one where they just keep coming. Where they just can't and won't stop. Oh, Jesse, what's going on with your jacket? people from back there isn't isn't the best plan I've ever had but you know what if it works I refuse to question it anymore okay it's not working <laughs> what well, you're all thinking I know I literally have a sniper weapon but I'm not using it right now when that works. 
All right. Threw an entire satellite dish at me. Can we talk about who you're aiming at, Jesse? Because it doesn't seem like you're aiming at anybody who I want you to aim at. No. 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 <laughs> There's so much going on. Like th that time, the two floaty psycho dudes came down to get me. No. Don't make me sulk, game. I'm ugly when I sulk. It's not even that hard. I'm just bad at video games. I've got more than enough tools to do this. Like, I'm barely using my shield, for example. No, this is... this is entirely controller brain interface problems. Bad at using the shield too. I just forget it's there. You'd think like a, a like a really, really decent shield that stops everything except explosion would be easy to re easy to remember, but nope. I guess I got rid of the orb nice and quick this time. How are you today, culture? Anyway. I can't shoot you. I will take you as my own. Okay, zone one. Cleared nice and easy. We're getting the hang of this. We are slowly, ever so slowly getting there. Reticule. Not only am I, do I think I might not be as bad a shot as I am, but I appear to have to aim slightly left or slightly right of the target. See that? I used the shield! See, I'm so proud of myself. I keep doing melee attacks because for some unknown reason Remedy thought putting putting swap weapon on square was a good idea. Despite the fact it's been triangle since video games began, I think. Sniper 
Chopper up there. I mean, I'm aware I could just get used to it and maybe change my habits. But are you kidding me? Change my habits? Two. Here we go again. All that's left is the big number three. Terrifying as it is. there. Yeah, I just gotta give me give me one one second, sir. I'll be right with you. Thank you. Santa, for this Christmas, I would like to not suck at video games. Give me that health. Go over here. Oh, you you do that. You can't even leave me alone. Oh man, I'm getting Ooh, getting a bit sore on this now. But it's okay. I'm a chill person. This is a relaxed channel with no screaming. Yes, I am. I'll be right, I'll be right back, Polaris. Give me a moment. I was hoping it would put me next to the entrance and I was going to walk around and try and go back to the control point and heal up. But uh, no, they follow you, turns out. Can I upgrade my spin? That's kind of you. It wasn't a good plan. It was a, it was a desperate plan. It was it, it it was actions made in panic. Okay, grip. I love you. You're fantastic and beautiful. I'm going to give spin a go for a second. Maybe that's what's missing. Maybe I just need more bullets.
I think that might be the problem. Okay, so grip is now my armor piercer. And spin is gonna be my enemy deleter. Sure, why not? We can't go any worse than it has been previously. Da -da -da -da. I mean, the other problem, it might be because I'm not wearing my lucky suit anymore. <laughs> Which honestly, honestly feels like a, quite a significant issue. More of an issue than one might have expected, in fact. I hate it when you, uh, when you pull an object and it's, like, around the back of something. So it doesn't actually go where you want it to go. How are you today? You join us on attempt five of trying to turn off all these lasers? Or all these sonic beams or whatever they are? I'm currently doing my pro gamer impression. Requires some work, I'm sure you'll think. Seemed like more bullets wasn't the answer to my solution. Crazy surprise that is. What I'm doing is missing faster. <laughs> Controller mix of puzzles in action. It is in mostly a third person shooter. There are a few puzzles in there, but they're mostly like, how do I get this battery into this elevator sort of thing. It'll make you scratch your head, but mostly about the, like what's going on, more than how am I supposed to do this. me with your nonsense. Looks really good as on same see it sale on Steam. Grab it. I mean, if you if you think it looks good, I'll let you know now. We're pretty close to the end, as in like probably within the next hour or so. So if you know knowing spoilers and stuff is not your cup of tea, now would be a good time to to, to maybe clear out. Yeah, 
yeah, no problem. Like, at the moment, this is no, like, there's no context here. You have no idea what or why I'm doing this, but it's pretty, yeah. This is pretty much like, ah, this is why we've been playing the entire game. One day, guys. with one of these guys. Two of them is a lot. Alright, one of them's dead. Bad shot. Oh, I wish I wasn't. I definitely think when I get around to doing the DLCs, I might wait for like the spe maybe the special edition, like to get all the DLCs on sale at some point, and I'll get it on the PC. Not that my aim will be much better. Can't be much worse. Alright. So this is only wave two of this platform, we've got more to go. Die first, suck. I have heard of that culture, and it is a game that has been on my list since I've heard of it. It also seems like my kind of game. I'm, I'm a big fan of like really story driven games. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been keeping an eye on that one for a while. Is it good? Ow. Go here and get some health. down here. You bet money I'd like it. Ooh. On the list. For sure. Alright. 
can't think of any new games right now. There's a chance I'm not going to get through this one yet. Is that it? Oh, thank God. Whew. Whew. Any more? Now we're going to go in and reach Polaris herself. <laughs> uh, going up here. Okay. 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 Quick climbing puzzle to do. You. Talk to me, mind mother. <laughs> down and there's nothing there it's just the cell and death i was wrong there was never anything there hello polaris are you there Um. Did we lose? Did we just get a, like the bad ending? Or it could be the good ending. Oh, hang on. you can almost hear our words, but you forget. You've always. Oh, here we go. An earworm is a tomb you can't stop humming in a dream. Uh huh. Go on, Jesse, fight that hiss. It's not real. Polaris, come back and save us. I mean, it would be cool, though, if the game was just like, oh no, you got it corrupted by the hiss. Game over. This is fine. This is all okay. Maybe we'll enjoy being a worm through time. Yeah. Ooh, are we being pulled back to the astral plane? Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau is the best at what it does. Protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. And who the hell does she think she is? The director? Um, okay. Guess it's our first day on the job. Deliver mail, scan the forms, tidy up coffee cups. It won't happen again, I promise. Oh no, this is my worst nightmare. Let me know if you need anything else. Um, office monkey. You forgot something. Right away. Right away. Hang on, I'm doing I'm doing the mail. Give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so I've just been I've been dumped back to grade one.
da, da, da. All right. Mail's done. I gotta go. I gotta go. Coffee cups. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh. Here we go. Boop. I mean, there's got to have been people who were doing this job, right? Still, this is still a federal office. They didn't find the altered item for improved photocopying. Love games that focus. I love a game that, that that cuts under my expectations. Okay, I think I gotta. Uh, I gotta. Excuse me, I gotta tidy that coffee cup. Are you still using yours? You are. Okay, cool. Oh man, I've got to go and deliver mail and scan forms again. Bathroom break. Oh, is this the wrong bathroom? My bad. I'm gonna scan some more forms while I'm here. I mean, Jesse, I hate to break it to you. I know this is all about monotony and stuff, but you could definitely set this to like. You could just press like 20 and then hit the go button. Like, I'm not saying this task isn't tedious and monotonous, but, like, work smart, not hard. Time is money. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do do. Oh, I've got it. I've got director's mail. All of yous can suck it. I've got to go and talk to the director. Can I? Um. Cool. So I'm getting a slight indication that things aren't quite what they seem. Reminds me of Nuncio. I don't know what that is. If I knew what that was. Oh, hey, it's Arishan Langston. All thanks to the director. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Artie, I love you. Help me. Oh, yes, the postman island is under sea, Great. right. No. I was just waiting for my mail. Just leave it on the desk there, please. <clears throat> so you're the, uh, please, take the outgoing mail as well? Thank you. Very good. Better run along now. Are you going to shoot yourself again? It's definitely time for me to play around with some stuff. That looks like darling almost. You're dismissed. You're late. That plant is gross and weird.
Everybody's wearing HRAs again. Watch your step. Man, you doing alright? Trust me, I know how you're feeling. I want to go check the safe room again. I dropped a coffee mug there. Well, this continues to be fine. Working on it. Delivering mail. Do I suppose I'll go and clean up some coffee cups at some point. God, there's a there's a simulator I don't want to play. Office intern simulator. Hey, I'm gonna grab this. I mean, at the moment, I'm unstable, so that's not that big a deal. Director Zachariah Trench. Years of misconduct from the director. Okay, so this is the this is definitely the 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 negative zone. You should keep trying. You are getting close. Thank you, Artie. I'm so glad you're here. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. I invaded. That was that. The trench. I have a plan. An answer. Get your mail. I'll take the slide projector to the nostalgia department. I'll turn it on. I'll bring the hiss in. No, don't do that. I'll fix them. That'll be a bad thing. That'll be a bad no-no time. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. This is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. I gotta break out. You know what? Screw your tasks. I'm not looking at your task board. Now is not the... These guys are just having a great time in here. Now is... Oh, hey, oh, okay. Huh. I ain't delivering your damn post-it notes. Hey, Underhill. How are you? Hey Dylan, how's life? Cool, cool, hope you're keeping busy. Hey Emily, Miss Emily Pope's secretary. Poor girl. I'm not doing this anymore. Give me your damn mail. Show you where to direct this. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. Well, come back. I do. I chose a good assistant. Here we go. I need my gun. This is my gun. I own this. I am the director. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. 
I am the director. That's what I just said. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Hello, this is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Hedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the Endgame. It will be revealed. All right, here we go. Darling's office. Let's end this. Okay, so Hedron is just a catalyst. Here we go. Oh, hey, it's a whole bunch of floating me's. <laughs> oh, look all the colors. All the colors been cut out apart from the red. You know what? Give me one second. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. Hang on. It's one of these. I'm going a long way for this bit. It's totally not worth it, but, uh... There we go. I isolate all the colour here apart from my reds, of which I have none. Here, I've got this, this bag of chocolates. That's got some red on it. I'm joining in the fun! Should have put my lipstick on today. <laughs> this is fine. How could this possibly be bad? It's just an, a whole army of floating me's. Are my, are my friends still hanging out in the safe room? Only one of them. Where's that? Where's that sector elevator? Where's my gun? Did I just go? Oh, I went, must have gone slightly the wrong direction. Yes, I'm supposed to go. Huh? <laughs> I went in a big circle accidentally. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I want to get to. I want to get to central executive. I get to Central Executive, I get to the Sector Elevator. And it's the Research Department. Darling's Office. Except... That's not working. Maybe I go into. Maybe we close ourselves in the safe room. Hey, buddy. We're just gonna just gonna chill out here with you. Honestly, out there, it's just all me, 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 me. It's nice to come in here and get a bit of a, a bit of a break from it all.
Well, that didn't work, but it was a... Uh, it was definitely a thought. Guys, I think I'm lost inside my own brain. I mean, I'm not surprised. There's a lot of a lot of space in there to get lost in. But I'm oh, hang on. Obviously, obviously, we just go through this door to Darling's office. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go? Visit Ordinary, where nothing ever is. Around one constant, they revolve. Jesse Faden for president. Oh, hey, Artie, can I go back to your, like, crazy sauna world? That was so much nicer. Polaris, grow brighter. Alright. Ding? Did any of the, okay, the, the door at the end opened. <laughs> really? Does anybody remember the game Maze? Troop. You are such a weirdo, Jesse. Okay, but what if we ding the bell a few more times? Because that took us right where we wanted to. Oh, I can't. Huh. Well, I got my keys at least. <laughs> Wait, where is this key taking us? Front door? No. Oh, weird. Okay. when we met her. Maybe you were always there. 
And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Try I'd quite to like to. to be corrupted by if that's alright, I'd quite like to understand. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the hiss. Just like that. <gasps> With Hedron dead, the hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. I get to go down the corridor of fun! They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. Okay. So the signal we were always following was just to the amplifier for Polaris. Polaris has just been a thought entity stuck in our head. Hedron was merely like a like a speaker for it. So now that we've headed now that we've what like broken the speaker we can access our own like inner power more. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I like it. Time for me to go bust up some hiss, that's for sure. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. Don't touch the ground, it hurts. Okay. <laughs> Ta da. And that's the real game over. Roll credits. Still got a little bit of Pepsi left. Let's try this again. So, what do we got? My sister had this dream. Bad dream. Maybe I don't want to... Probably don't want to touch the ground. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. Get out of my head, Dylan. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. Mm, we don't need to do that. To save her. Like, you really, really don't need to do that. I like my eyelids. Alright, let's shut this nonsense off. Still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know because that's how it was for me. Let's go and unlock his brain. Ooh, that's a little bit further away than it looked. So yeah, the hiss is building that like counter pyramid to the astral plane. Alright, here we go. Going through the corrupted astral plane now. Sorry, everyone. Nothing personal. Just. I've got important directorial business to attend to. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, these guys are level. 30, but I'm like obliterating them. Oh, we're powerful now. Okay, well. Am 
my turn now. How powerful I am. Doesn't matter how strong I feel, I'm still the worst shot in this or any other multiverse. Oh, please, thank you. layer I've been playing a little bit of Destiny 2 recently and this is reminding me of the uh, the infinite forest on Mercury which is like an eternal like a planet sized computer simulation of like infinitely changing floors and stuff like this, but a lot less red. A lot more robots. This. Come on, Hiss, is this the best you've got? I'm super powered now. Ooh. Oh no, they're corrupting my frame rate. around here somewhere. One of those invisible floaties. Right Found it. <laughs> Spin was real good, but I think it's time to switch back out again. Back to grip being our, our amazing weapon of amazingness. shotgun back. That can't hurt either. I want to give it that. I want to give it extra projectiles fired and can we give this one the damage after kill? Where's that one? <laughs> nope, okay, that's fine. Why do I need to worry about my weapons when I can just pick up a dude, throw it at another dude, and just ignore the whole world? It is good to feel strong. After every room feeling like a little bit of a struggle, this is pretty nice. Alright. 
Bring me my next floor. Oh no, sorry, it's still not done yet. Doing. Is this messing with anyone else's vision? Because every time I every time I look away from the screen, like chat especially, super green. Super green. <laughs> If you've got a cat belly that needs rubs, I'm, I'm, I, I deny you from chatting. I refuse to allow that to happen. All right, time to climb the zigger out of fun. Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... ...and I. Okay. Very nice. Now is this the- again, is this a true ending or... ...is this another false ending? A little flat if it is the true ending, but... I do like it. I do like it a lot, a lot. We closed the portal. We, we, we've cleared the hiss from my brother's brain and it's up to him to sort of find his way out of it again. And I guess, yeah, it kind of leaves it open for us to go and do DLC if we want to in the future. I think end, ending games, ending anything, is always the hardest thing. But yeah. Uh, what a game. What a curious story. I think we're, defi we're definitely going to do the DLC of this. I might have to pick this up on PC though. Or wait for like a PS5 and then get it on the PS5 or something because I'd love to go back through this game. It's just, it, it's a bit janky on the PS4. Like it's such a beautiful game that, yeah, that it kind of does itself a disservice when it's kind of got so much pop in. I think they just released their last DLC or the final one, which is actually a horror DLC. Mm -hmm. I believe there's supposed to be music playing here, but I've got um, I've got the copyright music turned off. All 
Okay. Speed up. Speed up credits. This is all very good. This is all lovely. Um, it was nice seeing the actors and stuff like that, but... Don't need to go through all the publishing and marketing teams. Do do do. Yeah, here's all the here's all the music we didn't get to listen to. Oh, we got a new director's costume. Oh, Jesse, you're looking amazing. Where did you get your Where did you get your suit? I want that suit. I want a suit, and I want a giant gold hairpin. It's <laughs> so schmexy. Alright, and then we'll just dump back out into it. Countermeasures, bureau alerts, we've got... Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> that's the name yes, of the movie. That's the, that's the name of the film, Jesse. Good job. Not important, but that was it. Lapel divots are on It's all triangles. It's all pyramids. It's there in the lapel. It, it's in the. Uh, but, but, but. Get some good light on it. It's, it's in the panel in the back there. Can't quite see it because. PS4. So yeah, we're now free to roam and. Um. I'm looking forward to that. I definitely might do some uh, some casual looking around in my own time. Fill in some gaps. Jesse's butt is extra shiny in the suit. It's like the gold suit. I think the gold suit had some shine to it as well, but it was just harder to see because it was it was it was white shimmer on light yellow fabric. But yeah, on a dark suit like this, we got some butt shimmer. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the main story of Control. I hope we enjoyed it. The ending, yeah, a bit flat. But, you know, they could have, maybe they could have dragged it out for too long, I'm not sure. So, you know, you can't, you can't have everything, but that was a, a solid game. I really enjoyed it, I love the premise, I am definitely excited for more. Uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I well, certainly, uh, certainly enjoyed watching me play it. I have no idea what we're playing next. I honestly don't know. I can't decide whether, like say, I need to go through the backlog, or if we want to sort of, if we want to reinvigorate the channel, because it's kind of, it's kind of died since I went on holiday slash slash mental health break for like two months. So I don't know if I want to play something a bit more up to date to bring some friends in again. But I suppose that's for me to decide. Uh, we'll start something new on Monday, I think. I think I might take a couple of days off. I have been streaming for seven days straight now, so... Yeah, maybe we take... I'll take this weekend off and starting again on Monday, something new. Yeah, thank you for watching. Have a lovely Friday and then a lovely weekend on top of that. And I'll see everybody, uh, see everyone next time. Bye. Go watch some creepy VHS, like, puppets.